so fresh. <laughs> You're wondering why I'm sitting here in this hand cart and the fully, not fully mounted hand cart. So this is the old hand cart I had with my friend for the last uh, events we were having, drinking beer. So yes, this hand cart is hand pulled and I want to electrify it. So let's get started. We're gonna have a look on the parts we're gonna need for this build. So like in the other piece of the pocket bike, I will use this two kilowatt um, electric engine with the control unit in here. You know that stuff. And uh, yeah, use some real bearings here to mount everything and some washers to weld everything up. So it's basically not a big project. I think I can do that on the weekend. But before we start doing something, let's open a beer. Oh, <laughs> So here we have it guys, we mounted away the rear wheels to come to the rear axle. Why we are doing that? That's why, because the rear axle itself needs to be rotating. And it's now uh, mounted to uh, the chassis here. In the rear axle we need to install this pocket. So we now should uh, remove the axle from the chassis and mount the wheel bearings on there to get the axle moving freely. Let's start with grinding. <laughs> The wheel bearings are installed now and they are pretty strong on there. I will add some weld points after that, so there should be nothing moving anymore. Before uh, putting the wheels on the axle, I have to put in the sprocket for the chain and the brake pad. As you see, it's all pretty wobbly in there, but I have to come up with a solution to take some of these big washers I ordered. They are perfectly the 20 centimeters axle in there and I will mark the holes where the sprocket usually had been mounted and then weld the sprocket on the washer and the washer on the axle. So let's start measuring out the points for mounting the two parts and then weld the sprocket on the axle. Let's start. The holes fit. So we have first the pen.
So the sprocket itself bent pretty hard because of the heat enforcement. So I have to get that out with that clutch remover from my pocket bike. But it works pretty well. while eating my, my ice cream and waiting for the parts to arrive I'll have a look on the steering of the Reckon. So normally the front axle sits in here and moves like this to steer but yeah there's no opportunity to steer uh, it by the driver so I'll input here along the shaft like this one going through to the other side and then mount on there a little steering wheel so the steering wheel will be attached to this and then to that and then it's it's like a, a shitty a shitty way to steer uh, the car but i don't want to build a whole front axle here so i think that works and we'll start implementing the top here
the chain is now on and we are having a test if everything works. Yes, perfect. Perfect, and now the double speed mode. Hope the chain stays on. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty fast. <laughs> it's now like one o'clock in the night, but I want to have finished everything. And first, the first time, I'm trying to put that on its own feet, and it got pretty heavy. Perfect. Oh man, <laughs> this could be so cool as driving. Now we can start. <laughs> yes. That is uh, <laughs> will be plenty of fun driving that. But before. Uh, we need to attach the steering wheel to the handlebar and grind out everything and yes and attach the steering wheel to uh, the handcart that will be the last step and i'm really looking forward to drive it outside now but yeah there was uh, one unfortunate thing that uh, like you see in the welding there are some um, flames coming from it and my whole <laughs> workbench set on fire yes <laughs> so I had to leave uh, the workstation for one day and yeah the only fun part I was having except um, <laughs> being called a dumbass by my family is to uh, yeah <laughs> lose uh, out uh, the pulver uh, of the fire extinguisher but then we can start driving. The, the tire has a hole. I ran into a, a stone, but it was plenty of fun doing that in my garden. 